Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today. I'm actually on my front porch. I just wanted to show you my beautiful tree. Uh, that maple came with the house, so it's probably, I don't know, we think close to 100 years old and uh, gets beautiful fall foliage. And here where I live in the Midwest, we're just finally starting to get some pretty color on the leaves. So anyway, just a quick uh, moment to show you that. And now if you wanna come with me, we're gonna go on inside and if I can find the doorknob. <laughs> All right, so we are going to work on, let me get you set up here. So we're gonna work in the dining room today and I'm gonna work on day uh, 15, I think it is, of Sophia's challenge, at uh, the decluttering challenge. Sophia issued from my great challenge. So it's 30 days. Obviously, I'm taking way longer than 30 days, but you know me, I'm just plugging along here. So today it's supposed to be linens in the dining room. So I'm going to move you back just a smidge. Let's see if we can get a better angle. So this is our large buffet in the dining room, and I'm going to work my way down. And we, sorry, full floors. <laughs> squeaky old floor. So anyway, let's get started. So this top drawer is where I keep linens, um, napkins, I should say. And I didn't realize this towel had been tucked back there. Other than that, I've got a few um, napkin rings and some signs for when I have dairy-free guests stay uh, that would need that. So, okay, I think I'm good with that. We use our napkins fairly often, but um, so I know what's there is good. So anyway, I'm going to keep those as is. Second drawer here is our um, placemats, and we're good with all of those. Um, yes, good with all those. Okay, now let me take you down a little bit. So hold on. And oh, I forgot to set my timer. So I got 15 minutes on the timer. Let's see if I can take you down, down, down. So we can work on the bottom drawer. I think we're going to have to go even farther down. So let's try that. Yeah. And then I think you can see. Okay. So this bottom drawer of the buffet. Uh, well, first of all, let me go through here just to be fair and I'll swing you around a little bit. So essentially I have serving ware in here. Um, that's all good. Have some menu boards, mints in the back, that's fine. You know, I think I can let this go. I hardly ever use it and even when I do, it's a... Uh, ceramic dip bowl, but it just doesn't hold very much. So I'm going to let that go. And what else is kind of clean? Aha! Ice bucket that I kind of forgot I have. So I'm going to set that up top. Looks like we've got napkin, stray napkin, and stray plastic bag. Okay. Sorry, this door keeps closing. Um, so that's that, and then over here, this is kind of art to go silverware. I've got, uh, okay, everything else in there is good. Probably the only thing that I don't need in here are, let's see what I'm doing. These are two plate hangers. I think I had bought them originally to hang um, an antique, uh, I have two antique baking trays from the farm where my grandparents lived. Uh, they still have the farm, but they've since built a house in a new location on the farm. But anyway, these two baking sheets came out of the original old farmhouse there. So I don't know how old they are. They've cooked with a wood stove and they're, they're pretty small. They're only about that big. Um, and they have a texture. I'll have to pull them out sometime and show you. But anyway, I've Put them to use in another way. I'm just using them as trays in the kitchen, so I don't need that anymore. And now here we go. So this bottom drawer, I think you can see. Okay. So as for linens, 
Some of this I know can stay. These are plastic tablecloths that we tend to use for my daughter's birthday every year. And that's fine. These three go together. So I'm actually going to set those over. Those are the spring-loaded adjustable tablecloth clamps, which would be for outdoor use. I'm trying to think if we're ever... We haven't used them outdoors yet, but, you know, that's, I'm okay keeping those. Those would be handy, and I know I'm going to keep the tablecloths anyway. Okay, so now I have a collection of antique linen napkins. I never use them. Um, I don't know. They're, I just never use them. So I, at this point, I can't even remember where they came from, if I bought them at an antique shop or uh, if there was some other way that I got those. This is supposed to be up here with these. Okay, so I think it's time to let all of these linens go. I purchased them, some of them I know I got at a linen store nearby years ago. The store's not even open anymore, and I'm just too afraid to use them because I don't want to have to clean them and press them. So why am I keeping them? Um, they're beautiful, and someone else should be using them, but I... I think I'm going to pass those on. And what are these? These are, are these placemats. Yeah, these are placemats or napkins. These are napkins. Um, but again, they're kind of a lighter color, and I don't have room to store them up top where my other napkins go. So then I forget that I have them. Do I want to keep them is the question. And there's something that probably should be pressed. And I have quite a few things. And you know what? Honestly, I like um, the colors that I have better with our with decor and the table set in the dining room. So I'm going to let those go. Okay. Didn't realize I had so much in here I did not need. This is just a piece of fabric that I use sometimes as a napkin to go under the center um, decor, uh, and I'm okay keeping that just because it matches these. Now, are these napkins as well? These are napkins as well. So these I could be using, and I forget that I have them, but they match a tablecloth that I have out right now. So, I would like to use them, but I need to figure out if I can store them and use them or not. Okay, these were holiday, there's another piece of fabric, and this is a table runner that goes with the napkins. Okay, so these are holiday placemats, and they're beautiful, but I think I end up not using them because um, we have a round table, and they don't fit as well because they're rectangular, so I will pass those on. And the same goes for these. I tend to not use these. They're bamboo. Um, and I think my husband picked these up. So before I get rid of them, I am going to ask him what he thinks about that. But I tend not to use them because they're rectangular and we have a round table. And you can't fit very many on the table. So, okay. Moving right along. Okay. Extra paper plates. I did not know they were in here because I usually keep all of my paper plates in a different drawer. These go over in the other smaller buffet. That's just fabric. I think I wrapped this around napkins at one point, but I don't need that anymore. Okay, so these are more napkin rings. We don't use them often, but I'm going to take you down. I do occasionally use them. Here's some more fabric. Okay, this drawer is going to get a lot lighter. This red tablecloth I tend to use at the holidays. I'm okay keeping that. Here we are. This is a linen tablecloth I bought. I think I bought this at the same antique store. And I don't use them because 
Um, again, I'm worried about having to clean them. I have yellow, off-white, and green. So I'll ask around in my family, make sure no one wants or needs them, but I'm ready to let those go. This came off of something, so that's trash. This is just a plain white tablecloth and it's polyester so it's easier to clean but I typically don't use it. I'm trying to think how big it is because I can't even remember. I'm trying to find a tag. All right, let's see. Let's just see, shall we? So it's square and it's small so it at the most would fit on our small table in here, but it's not going to fit on the large table. Um, and it's kind of more formal. I don't really know that we need a white tablecloth. And the only other reason it might be good is just to have a piece of white fabric, but again, I haven't really needed that very often, so I think we can let that go. Did not even realize that was in there. So, okay, that's going to get passed on. And I think these are more, yeah, these are more linen napkins, I believe. Yeah. And they're beautiful, but I worry about the care of them, and I don't feel like taking care of them. <laughs> so I'm going to pass those on as well. Would you look at that? I now have an empty drawer, and I'm kind of wondering if I should move my uh, placemats down here and put all of my napkins in this these top two drawers because I think I would have a little more room. Let me see if they would fit. That would be the thing. I know I don't know need those right now. They're kind of seasonal. Oh yeah, these all fit. So okay, I think what I'll do since I don't use these except in the spring, I'm going to move my green napkin collection up, and that way. I can remember I have those, and I have a table runner, which I do occasionally, so that's that. Okay, you guys, that that has uh, cleaned this out quite a bit. So I have a nice little stack of linens I'll be either giving away or I uh, might even take them to a resale shop since they, the nicer ones might be worth a little something. So um, I hope that helped you. I hope you work on, worked on something while I was doing some decluttering there and stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my decluttering videos and um, hit the notification bell if you wanna find out when I upload. So thanks again for joining me today. I hope you have a great one and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, everyone, I am back. I just wanted to quickly show you, these are the baking pans I was talking about. I have two. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It says Oven X. I've never heard of that brand. And the number on it is N8DL-14. And then it says USA. So it has this texture on it. And that texture is on both sides. And like I said, I really just um, use them more for a tray. Uh, also, I'll show you the size difference. So this is a standard modern baking tray. And you can see it is it is smaller, um, and I don't know if that's just because of the age of it or if it was a certain type of pan for something that I just don't realize, but I've just been using it here as kind of my little coffee station for my electric kettle, so I usually have that sitting there. And then, like, if I've got a lot of coffee, I'll put that on there, and this is kind of my little coffee carafe area and there's my little cup a good day is ahead first coffee so anyway <laughs> thanks again for joining me if you know anything about these baking pans these oven x pans i'd love to hear about it so put that down in the comments below and otherwise thanks for joining me and have a great day Bye bye